I don't know about the rest of you, but um, this is an emotional moment for me, and it brings back the memories of the day we were at the state capitol, and what a very, very important um, day that that was. I'm, I'm very honored and very privileged to be here with all of you today, and especially to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Hindu American Foundation. And you all know um, the importance of this organization. It has a distinguished history of advocacy. We've seen it in the videos uh, that we've been watching today. And I just have to say, before I finish my remarks, that I don't think I have ever had the pleasure of working with such professional, passionate, and polite advocates as the advocates at HAF. It has truly been a pleasure to work with them. And I work with lots of people. <laughs> you should be so um, happy that the work that they do in California is so far reaching. And of course the work that they do, it's not just in California but across the nation. And I'm very happy to be here tonight with so many community leaders. And I especially want to tell you how thrilled I am to be here tonight to meet Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard. Came all the way from Hawaii to be here in my district, to be here for this wonderful occasion. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to hearing what she has to say because I know she has done such amazing work to promote Hindu Americans and awareness throughout the country and it's so very important. So Congressman, Congresswoman, sorry, <laughs> I want to personally thank you for your service to this country and for all that you have done to promote Hindu American awareness. And thank you for being here this evening. You are a true trailblazer and I know you have a very bright future ahead of you. It was really a pleasure to work with the Hindu American Foundation on this important resolution this year. And I know we saw part of the video, but um, I wish you had all been able to be there. I know many of you were. I know many of you here in the audience tonight were there. And I'm proud to say that the measure was just chaptered by the Secretary of State just a couple of weeks ago. And I'm very happy to have been able to work closely with the Foundation to make sure that SCR 32 became a reality. It's so important to celebrate the many contributions of the Hindu community because they have really made this a much better state and a very vibrant state. California, of course, is home to a thriving community of over 370,000 Hindu Americans and they enrich the diversity and the professional strengths in all fields in our state, academia, science, technology, business, literature, and I could go on and on. But in particular, let me just stop for a moment and recognize Executive Council Member Dr. Vineet Sharma and Board Member Dr. Mahir Magani, as well as HAF Director and Senior Human Rights Fellow um, Samir Kalra for their dedication and hard work over the past few months. They truly are inspirational people and I, I caught the inspiration from them as well. Your commitment to the legislation has definitely paid off and I'm so very proud that next month we will officially celebrate the State of California Hindu American Awareness and Appreciation Month. The first, yes. The very first state to, have, to ever to recognize such an honor. In fact, I was so surprised when I was first told that no other state had done this yet. But I'm so happy California once again is leading the way. I know many of you were there that afternoon and I really wish you could have been there firsthand. We had a reception in my office. The attendees then watched from the gallery. You saw part of the video where they started to call the roll. But after the roll was called, and actually as the roll was being called, you could feel the excitement in the chamber start to mount. The gallery was full of people there just for the presentation of that resolution. And after the resolution was passed, and I was able to announce on the floor that this was the very first resolution of, the, of its kind to pass anywhere in any state in the union, applause just exploded from the gallery and amongst the members of the chamber too. And I'm so very, very proud to have been able to also um, 
educate all of my colleagues in the State Senate as to the importance of this resolution. I'm very proud to have been able to be part of this resolution. I know it was such a special historic occasion, but I must say I want to thank you for asking me to share in such a very special part of the history and such a special moment. I will never forget that. I will never forget the feeling on the floor and the importance of that. SCR 32, of course, will be known for many years as the first resolution. And I hope I have the opportunity to work, continue to work with you and make sure we have such resolutions passed in every single one of our 50 states. <laughs> California continues its legacy as a state that truly values diversity through all religions, all faiths, and cultures. And this resolution is part of that. As we all know, California is the most diverse state in the nation, and people from around the globe call this great state home. Californians practice so many religions, so many languages, and we celebrate so many diverse traditions, and we come from so many cultural backgrounds. I've always believed California's diversity is the state's greatest strength. And I always say, uh, when I'm in Sacramento, that I'm the luckiest senator in the state legislature since I have the distinct opportunity to represent such a diverse community as I do here in the 10th Senate District. I'm proud of the diversity. I'm proud of the wonderful people that call the Bay Area home. And I know we are all so lucky to get to know so many different perspectives on a daily basis within our Bay Area community. There's over two million Hindu Americans that live in the United States, and California is home to the largest Hindu population in the country. There is a significant and important community in the East Bay and throughout the Bay Area, and for that reason, I said yes when I was asked to introduce SCR 32. As you all know, we still have a lot of work to do. There are years ahead of us. We need to open more hearts and more minds, but I know together, the future will have no limits, and I know, especially with your advocates, that many more great things will happen. I had um, the great opportunity just a couple of weeks ago to meet in my office with the Hindu American Foundation and the chair of the Senate Committee on Education, where we began our discussion about making sure California textbooks reflect the truth. And I know next week the Hindu American Foundation is meeting with Superintendent of Public Instruction, Tom Torlickson, and I'm looking forward to very uh, positive conversations with the superintendent as well, and I've already reached him by phone, and I know he's quite thrilled about the meeting that's upcoming. Now let me stop for a moment and read a quote from Gandhi. You may never know what results come of your action, but if you do nothing, there will be no result. I know everyone in the Hindu American Foundation embody those very thoughts and take action. And let me just say, it is a privilege to work with all of you. Thank you very much for this very special honor. I am very touched. Thank you very much. Thank you.